Hey legends, Dash here. I'm a uh, member of the JBR crew. Um, so that's Jantz's Brothers Racing. So myself, my middle brother Steve, my older brother Chris, or Pine Man. Um, got a bit of a crew there, and, and we've got some, some additionals there, which are just like family as well. So we've got the likes of Dip and Daz. Um, so we're the main members of the JBR crew, and uh, we've got a lot of extended family outside of that as well. So I, uh, I want to do a bit of a video of just uh, everything that we go through and race. Um, I'm just an average doe, why would I want to do a video? But I think that because there's a lot of cool stuff that we race there, I'd like to just show you through, give you a bit of insight as to everything that goes on. So I'll, um, I'll show you around. So what we've got here is uh, my race truck. So this is a Top Gun. And um, so we race mud trials. That can be here in Serena, uh, Rockhampton, uh, down in New South Wales, there's a few tracks. And, uh, and eventually might actually get up north as well, go, let's go as far as Darwin. Um, but so this one is for the, the top class and the top guns. So this is the four wheel drive class. Um, these are pretty insane machines. And um, so we will be hitting the mud pits pretty well up to 100 k's an hour. And again, get pretty wild. Um, so this one just runs 40 inch tractor tires and um, it's just got a, a five-speed manual in it that came in the GQ. Um, so it's still just running manual. I uh, don't have a huge amount of horsepower in it, but it's just enough to, to get us by for now. So obviously everyone always wants a bit more power, a few more cubes, a few more centimeters, whichever way you want to put it. Um, so it's a, it's a fun bit of gear to drive, absolutely love it. Um, so last year, actually able to uh, pick up the number one for Queensland in the in the Queensland title. So that was that was really exciting. It was an epic race meet. And uh, there's a few different categories that we do race, um, or a few different types. So we've got mud trials, which is in Serena, and we've got twin track which is in Rockhampton. So it's pretty basic, so it just runs an LS1, just with a cam in it. And uh, so, still sounds pretty angry, which is cool, but it's, uh, it's just enough to get us by. <laughs> Love to get a bit more one day. So yeah, the two different types there, being the mud trials and the twin track at Cabra. Um, so the twin track will be mainly based on two identical tracks right beside each other. And so two cars will come in, they'll line up, one on each track. They'll run through, they'll do a lap of that track. They'll start, then they'll race back through the start finish line. Them cars will swap over. They'll do another lap around the other track. And then that'll be them two cars done for that heat. So it's, uh, it's, it's time trial based and it's bloody awesome racing to watch. And uh, so the other type is the mud trials, um, which is what I got the, the Queensland title in. Uh, it's a, a really boggy track the whole way around it. And it's purely based on points. So the num number of laps that you do, you gain more and more points and you get deducted through the likes of being bogged and uh, receiving a tow, um, or if you hit markers and whatnot. So it's, um, them races go for a fair bit longer. There's a lot more drive time, but it's pretty hard on gear, that stuff. You really got to make it through to the end of the race to actually win that meet. And it requires a lot of skill, a lot of um, build quality in your truck, but it also <laughs> relies on a bit of luck along the way as well. So anyone who grabs a tile there, they really do appreciate it. And that's been running for years and years now. So it's a really good mud racing uh, community and family. And uh, there's more and more members coming into it yearly and, um, and a lot more juniors coming through now as well, which is awesome to see. And there are some gun drivers, so. Um, we've got five cars, or well, we did have five cars in our race crew, um, which we all built from scratch. And um, my middle brother, Steve, actually um, just sold his recently, um, but he held the Australian title there for a few years. Um, so he is an absolute gun driver, um, huge respect. And uh, I was really hoping to race him a couple times, more than what we actually got to. Um, but yeah, we, we will look in some other category again one day. And my oldest brother, Pie Man, uh, had a buggy, an absolute mean buggy, and he, he did real well in that too. So he's just sold that one as well. But 
we've still got a fair few cars in the crew and uh, exciting mud racing time to time and who's just bought Steve's truck I'm sure it'll be good race prime again uh, one day soon Some of the uh, race meets we've got this year, it's going to be pretty pretty hectic on really so uh, April 2nd we've got uh, Twin Track opener at Cabra um, so that'll be that'll be a real good one, everyone should have their cars up and ready so it's normally a pretty big meet um, coming back into the season again April 9th and 10th uh, I'll be racing the Australian Off-Road Championship uh, Enduro at Gum Valley um, which is just near Kamala near Queensland um, so That'll be a first for me, but um, should be good. It'll be a bit of single track through the bush. Um, and so, yeah, it's an Australian event, so looking forward to that. That'll be really good. Uh, May Day weekend, so the, the 1st of May, um, we've got the Mud Trials Queensland titles um, just in Serena. So that'll be the, um, the circuit race with, um, with the, the points per lap. And uh, it'll be a big one again, because I know that we haven't seen a whole lot of racing through COVID, so everyone will have um, hopefully all their all their machines ready to go and we, for that one we normally get a lot of people from New South Wales come up as well and and other states around Australia and she's a she's a she's a, a real good meet that one um, so June um, going to compete in Fink this year um, it's, it's something that's always been on mine and quite a few of my mates bucket list and I thought th there's no point putting it off um, Everyone's just got to take the leap at one point, so I'm really excited to do that. I've uh, put a lot of things in place um, in preparation for that event so far, and I have just been accepted, so my nomination um, was entered uh, on the 1st of February. I got in there uh, at 10 o'clock on the dot, and uh, the, the nomination has been accepted, which is awesome, so there'll be around about 650 riders in that, um, just in the bike category. Um, so I'll go through the, the bike in a bit um, of everything in preparation for that one and uh, post a few videos. Um, so getting back from that, uh, in July 23rd, we've got another twin track meet at Cabra. So we'll see how I go with that one. Um, if, I, uh, if I've got enough money really and, and time to get the car fixed up ready for it, well, I'd like to have another crack at that, but that one's purely just going to be based on, on how we go throughout the rest of the year. And then following on from that in uh, November the 5th, um, likely at this stage anyway, we've got another twin, uh, twin track meet. Um, so a lot of racing to go through this year, uh, a lot of different formats. It's, uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's pretty optimistic, but I'll see how I go in trying to make all them meets. Um, but I've got a lot, of, a lot of work to do if that's gonna be the case. Yeah, so, all right, I might show you through the bike. Hey, doggo. <laughs> so this is the bike. Got a uh, KDM 450 EXC and uh, started uh, going through putting some parts on. A lot of the a lot of the mods so far have been um, quite basic, nothing too over the top just yet. 
I've uh, got a steering dampener that, that bolts on in there. I've just got it off at the moment just for the riding I've been doing. Um, hasn't required it, so I've just taken it off. Got the, got the steg pegs. Been playing around a little bit with gearing, but this seems to be a pretty good combo. Um, so I've got 14 and, uh, and 48 running there at the moment. I'm, uh, I'm a fan of that. It, it's weird because these things were geared really well from standard. Um, so through the bush and any kind of different riding you're doing on a track, it seemed to work really, really good. Um, but then changing to that longer gear ratio, it still managed to handle it really well. So you can still go through nice tight single track, um, go over logs and everything, and then you can get on a motocross track and seems to, to really have that torque there just to pull you through anyway. And you really don't notice that it, that it is geared up. Um, but then again, you go on to uh, some of your, your longer fire trail stuff a lot quicker and um, and you can really pull some high speeds there and, and it just loves it. So I'm really surprised on this machine. It, like I've had a lot of different bikes, but this thing just really takes the cake so far. I'm a huge fan of it. So I just got the, the pipe on there. Got the header as well. That took forever to get here. I think it was one of the first batch they made for these bikes. Um, but the, the, the biggest and best addition so far has just been the suspension. Um, so Greeny and Alice Springs, um, he's the one that, that did this. So I've got the closed cartridge in there. Um, so the, the, the drop-in cartridge, the WP make, uh, it's set up to my weight and been revalved and whatnot. So Greeny does a lot of the suspension um, for Toby Price and David Walsh and, and the lads. So he definitely knows what he's doing. It's set up for the desert there at the moment, but um, it, it's, it's great stuff and like, it's just so versatile as well. So you can still ride around the bush, you can still go on a motocross track and change it to click here and there. And, uh, and it's just well suited. Like, it's amazing how much better it is. And I really wish that I uh, invested a bit more in suspension a bit earlier on, because uh, it just really takes a lot of the effort out of it and makes it a lot safer as well to, to ride. And uh, yeah, so she's, uh, she's definitely a beast. Um, huge fan, got the, got the speed skid plate there as well. But I'll, I've been training um, for the Fink um, since around about July last year. So I get out on the push bike. I do uh, normally 30 k's a week. Um, and then at the end of that 30 k's, I, I hit the hills um, just out the back here. Obviously not that one, that's a bit bit full on, but a few of them other hills out the back there, they've got roads that they go up them and uh, they, they really push the heart rate. Right, that's about it for the first episode anyway. Um, I will have a tripod for next time, so I won't have to be using the, the GoPro stick. Um, but I'd just like to also thank our sponsor in MI Scaffold. So any of your scaffold needs, just hit up Jono, tell him I sent you. And, uh, and any other sponsors that they reckon they'd like to get on board with our, our racing throughout this year in, in the different, different formats, what we've got going on, um, just let me know, get in contact or, or drop a comment there and I can contact you. Um, any help we can get it obviously be appreciated, but um, yeah, we're really keen to, to show off just a bit of an insight into the different style of racing we do. Um, it seems pretty normal because I've been a part of the, the motorsport family for a long time now, and, and so it's, it's, it's what we do, but it, it is quite unfamiliar to a lot of people, so it's just really just an insight and just showing how cool it really can be. Um, so I'll just be learning to, to upload these videos and everything around. I'm, I'm purely a novice on that. Um, but I'll try and drop in a few videos of, um, of mud racing that we've got so far and a few photos just to give you a bit of a look. And so next few videos to come up, I'll, um, I'm going to take this thing out riding again, uh, a few different tracks that I go to. So upload a bit of that and the, the different style of training I'm doing. Um, that should be pretty cool. And, uh, and then, yeah, eventually we'll get round to the mud racing and I'll uh, try and take as much of that footage as I can just to, to show you through. She's... She's a hell of a ride. Um, so yeah, just just due to this, but I'm just the average Joe, but I, uh, I really look forward to, to bringing a, a fair bit of media content for you anyway.
Uh, yeah, Jason, you're up. Yeah. 